it blends a super wide foot, so it's not like you hand fly an entire time. You have like nice avionics and Itology 1000. You can see on your screen because it's all you have a synthetic view, right? Yeah. So you can see there's a mountain on your side, and you're like, okay. Good thing we're on track here. <laughs> it's pretty cool, it's pretty good flying. Some of the, some of those places you actually do basically DFR to the approaches are like DFR. Got the minimum right? It's cool flying, that's for sure. Thank you. Sorry, quick question here. I guess most of us are student pilots. Uh, what kind of minimums are you guys hiring at? CPL slash multi FR guys that just got out of school. Is there a chance at all or well these you... days we've been expanding a lot, so I can I, I see lots of guys coming in to the fifty million dollars, especially out of flight school. We see see lots of that lately, so I'll say yeah. And that's for I guess operations based outside of Manitoba because of the five hundred hour rule or? Yeah, it's all, all the all the better back would be is our our Sydney, but okay. yeah. we don't have that requirement. So. Right. And as well, we've been doing some uh, some charter work now. I just got a contract in Manitoba. So there's a lot of guys going to that as well. And that's basically based in Thompson, shoots on, shoots off as well. <coughs> and just flying in out of the reserves there. So do you mind just telling us maybe how you got to your position? Like, did you fly before uh, joining Key Waiting? Or? Oh yeah, for sure, yeah, yeah. I did uh, instructing, I did all my training at Harvard. Oh, okay, Stand that's up. where we're at, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. I did all my training, stand back, instructing, uh, instructing in St. Andrews. I did that for a little while too, and then I started doing, I did some charter flying in northern Manitoba before this, and then I got the position at Kuwait. Nice. After. Well, congrats. So I came <laughs> in as a captain, so I've been there here for a year and a half now. Okay. I've been kind of like doing half and half, like I do some medevacs once in a while, and we charted the other day. And yeah, it's pretty interesting, yeah. Yeah, it's, yeah, pretty, it's cool. pretty cool. Yeah. Ain't complaining. <laughs> Have you guys any questions still? Or? Uh, the customer essentially is driving what the minimums right. have to be. Um, and I, I think it's pretty fair game that Kuwaitans has specialized in um, providing a government contract primarily, whether it's healthcare or now for the province of Manitoba in the judicial sector. And it's the province or the territory that's basically saying, yeah. for your FOs, we want a minimum of this much. For your captains, we want this much. And then we you know, try to find a reasonable number based on the market that we believe we can continue to staff. Right. That also doesn't jeopardize the safety of the mission. So I mean, our training too, I mean, uh, I haven't seen a 703 company doing this, but like, you actually send people to flight safety, right? You have full flight level view simulator. So right. you have all the emergencies and everything in the simulator. Yeah. So that's like a different experience, that's for sure. Right? Yeah. Like 705. Like oh, yeah. yeah. So we have, we have a really outstanding relationship with um, Flight Safety International, yeah. right. um, and our chief trainers have uh, been certified by them. So we can actually do a large degree of the simulation and the ground school in-house in Winnipeg. And then we head down to Flight Safety for a week to, uh, to play around on their equipment. And by the time you're coming back from that, you're feeling pretty solid. And uh, the uh, scenarios that we set up in-house are based on actual routes that we fly. Mm -hmm. So you're actually dealing with uh, more of that in-dock prior to even getting into the, the real bird, for sure. And um, all the aircraft, uh, the new ones you brought on are still kind of steam-driven, but there's a plan to have all of them kitted out with uh, G1000 uh, by the middle of July. Okay. And um, they'll all have G1000 MXI, so we've upgraded the G1000 to the latest stuff that Garmin does, and our relationship with Garmin is absolutely outstanding. Right. So, yeah. so basically, you've done the multi IFR just apply, like that would be like, like, yeah, I'd say yeah, so no, like does it make sense, or are we like completely out of league? No, no, you definitely have a chance. I mean, okay. you have more experience, that that's yeah, that's great, right, but yeah. you yeah. definitely have a chance. I see a lot of guys coming okay. in, they, they do 50 hours. Yeah. Make sure you're sharp and yeah. <laughs> I, I guess the, the 15 on, 15 off thing is, as you mentioned, we do have uh, crews that come right from St. John's, uh, Newfoundland, right to, you know, Nanaimo, BC. And uh, if you're from 
there if you have family there and you want to stay connected to your family. It's very nice. Yeah. Don't sweat it because yeah. we will bring you to Manitoba and we pay for the flight. Uh, wow. And uh, we pay for your accommodations and such up north. So it's really kind of a unique little gem. And what's really cool is that you know, you're doing something pretty amazing. Like you're flying into some pretty amazing terrain that very few people in Canada have seen, let alone people in the world. And you're getting people out of, you know, a pretty critical situation. That kind of feels good at the end of the day when you've written it into your logbook to say, you know, I made a bloody difference today. I saved someone's life. Yeah, so it's weird. pretty cool. is the culture, right, at Kuwait and Air, because, I mean, that's important, like, where you hang your hat and who you hang out with um, is important, and, and these guys are, Cole's probably been around the, the most of anybody up there, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, yeah. She doesn't, she doesn't <laughs> look too battle-worn, eh? Like, she, she doesn't look too tired of. But, um, we, we, I think it's pretty cool, because we do a pretty cool job, and we do a pretty cool thing, but um, right from the top of our organization, Wayne McLeod, myself, and the rest of the execs, and so forth, um, Partly, um, you know, we're not providing a very important service, but also we have a philosophy that is like, you know, work is work true, like you're going to get paid for the, you know, the value that you bring, but we don't want this to feel like you're going to, like, to do 15 years at Stony Mountain and maybe you'll get out in 10 for good behavior, right? That's, <laughs> you, we want you to feel like, you know, you're part of the team and that we want to have some fun. And even the challenges that we face, we try to do it together, try to, try to come up with an answer together versus... You know, if we go like this at each other, then we're not really going anywhere. If we can go in parallel, we can figure out the problem and work toward it. Our quality guys in med, our quality guys in maintenance, our quality guys in air ops, they're really, you know, fun people. They're dynamic people. Very and they, they really care. Yeah, they really That's try to I'm find people team. with the right attitude. Yeah. I mean, you got to work two weeks with the same people. Like you got to yeah, that's the thing. Same, yeah, you have the same team, right? You're yeah. like really exactly. united. Yeah. 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 It's like a very supportive from the management as well. Like our director like of nursing side is Dan our medical director is one mayor. Like yeah. for the medical part, that's where we contact mostly, yeah. and pretty supportive and uh, yeah. good to work with for even, sure. Even our flight ops on call, yeah. Wayne McLeod, who's our president, still does an immense amount of call. Yeah, like, <laughs> twenty four seven call, and he's if we were in a position we can't get a hold of our nurse manager, he pinch hits and oh my gosh, yeah. the man's fantastic. And there's always somebody available if you yeah. are in trouble or any kind of questions. Like um, you never feel like you're by yourself. Yeah, like two yeah. o'clock in the morning, three o'clock in the morning, it doesn't matter. If there is something that's yeah, it's great. Yeah. <laughs> it is great for sure. Like uh, when you fly, that's uh, that kind of support. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you very much. Thank you guys. Thanks. I think that's it. Yeah. Well done, guys.